What about the Prophet of Allah, Moses, Grandpa? When we talk about Moses, peace be upon him, we must also talk about his brother, the Prophet Aaron, peace be upon him. Both were sent to the Israeli people and faced together the power of the Pharaoh, as you will know later, my son. Our story starts with Egypt when Pharaoh knew about the prophecy. What cursed news are the Israeli people waiting for? A child who will be born among them and cause my death? Oh. They sentenced themselves to their death. I won't even allow the birth of this child. Kill every newborn baby in Israel! Don't leave a single one of them! The mother of Moses gave birth to her son, and she was afraid that Pharaoh's army kill him. So Allah inspired her to throw him into the river. She put him in a wooden box and threw the box into the water. فَإِذَا خِفْتِ عَلَيْهِ فَأَلْقِيهِ فِي الْيَمِّ وَلَا تَخَافِي وَلَا تَحْزَنِي إِنَّا رَادُّوهُ إِلَيْكِ وَجَاعِلُوهُ مِنَ الْمُرْسَلِينَ Madam, look! There's a box floating on the water! A box? Then bring it to me to see what's inside. How I'm happy! How I'm happy! It's a baby, madam! It's a beautiful baby! Look! Let me see! Let me see! What a beautiful morning! What a beautiful morning! He's an angel! How beautiful he is! I was deprived from the grace of procreation. Allah answered my prayer. He's a gift from Allah. He's the baby I was dreaming of and asking Allah to give me. What are you saying? Raise him here? In the castle? This child must be killed like all the other children in Israel. My lord, the king, look at him. Haven't we been waiting a long time ago for having a child to raise and stroke? A child who fills our palace with his laughing and our hearts with the happiness? He is an Israeli child. Did you forget about the prophecy? Who knows? Maybe it comes true with this child. And how do you know? Maybe it will never come true. Maybe this claimed prophecy is nothing but nonsense. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقالت امرأة فرعون قرة عين لي ولك لا تقتلوه عساء ينفعنا أو نتخذه ولدا وهم لا يشعرون the child Moses refused all the breastfeeding mothers brought by the wife of the Pharaoh. The sister of Moses, who was watching over him all that time since he has been thrown in the river till he arrived to the palace of Pharaoh, took by the opportunity. She went and brought her mother, the mother of Moses, to the palace. So Moses fed from her breast till he got sated. And so Allah returned the mother of Moses to her son again. Moses lived a noble life like a king. Days passed and Moses grew up. <laughs> My Queen Asia, the great queen of Egypt. Welcome, loyal friend of our son Moses. What's the matter? Did anything happen to Moses? Talk. My Lord Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, knew what Moses did to the Egyptian and... Uh... Which Egyptian? And what did Moses do to him? Tell me, please talk. I will tell you, my queen. 
One day, Moses went out for a walk in the market, and he saw one Egyptian fighting with an Israeli. While fighting, the Israeli man asked Moses for help. This ended up by Moses hitting the Egyptian man a fatal strike. What a disaster! Maybe that's the cause of Moses' sadness and silence lately? And did the king know about what happened? Yes, my queen. And today, Moses met the same Israeli man fighting with another Egyptian. And again, he asked Moses for help. But he didn't answer him and wanted to stop him from harming people. So the Israeli man threatened him saying, Do you want to kill me as you killed someone yesterday? Kills him? Hurry up now and ask him to leave Egypt immediately. Quickly, hurry up! <laughs> How stupid these two women are. They have been standing here since a long time to fill their jars with water. But how will they do it? Shepherds rarely go away of the water well. Women are weak, my dear. Forget about that and tell me, who is that man sitting there under the tree? Do you know him? No, he is not from Median land. Maybe he is coming from a far land. He seems to be coming from Egypt. Look, he went to help the girls and fill the jars with water. He could really put away the shepherds and water for the girls. Here they are leaving. Look who came to give water to the sheep. Isn't this man Moses who came to Madian recently? Yes, he is. They say he got married to one of the two girls whom he gave water to after he agreed with their father to serve him ten years and be in charge of his sheep and other interests. How weird. Yesterday he was a stranger and today he's a relative. Let's go. We are late. Moses spent ten years serving his father-in-law. Then he prepared to leave to Egypt and took his wife with him. On a dark night, on their hard way to Egypt, Moses saw a burning fire beside Tor Mountain. So he asked his wife to wait and went alone to the site of the fire, hoping to find someone to guide him or something useful to him. There, there was the surprise. When Moses got closer to the mountain, he saw a fire burning in a green tree. Moses felt very afraid, and then he heard Allah's call. Moses, when did he come to Egypt? He came last night and the Israeli people said that he became a prophet and that he came with his brother Aaron to call Pharaoh to believe. Believe? In who? In the God of Moses. They also say that the God of Moses gave him many miracles, so he proves his true calling. Stop saying that. Maybe someone hears us and harms us because of saying so. Do you know a God other than me? No, no. no. <laughs> Did you hear Moses? Did you hear Aaron? They believe in no God other than me. But you, Moses, came to deny my divine power. It is me who raised you in my castle and taught you and treated you well. What are you doing? Why are you throwing your stick before me? Huh? What is that big snake? Did you come to bewitch us, Moses? It's getting closer to me. Keep it away. Keep it away, Moses. My guards, you have to recall the best magicians in our country to face this man. We will meet here in my castle on the day of the festival. Then we will see who defeats the other. 
Come on, you brave magicians. Let Moses see your magic and throw your sticks. <laughs> you see, Moses, any magician can do what you do with your stick. It is not difficult. <laughs> it's your turn now. Throw your stick, Moses. Huh? We believed in the Lord of the worlds, the Lord of Moses and Aaron. Did you believe in him before I give you permission? I will punish you all severely for what you did. Take them, guards. Get lost, all of you. And you, Moses, it's not over between us. Moses stayed in Egypt teaching the Israeli people their religion and letting them know their Lord. He kept on calling pharaohs to worship Allah, and Allah afflicted him to believe in the message of Moses. But Pharaoh insisted on his disbelief. My lord, the great pharaoh of Egypt. What do you want now? I have heard that Moses and Aaron decided to leave Egypt with the Israeli people. What? Does he think he can run away from me? Oh, guards, prepare the weapons of the soldiers and the military vehicles. We must follow Moses now. My lord, the great pharaoh of Egypt, we succeeded in controlling them completely. They are surrounded by the sea from ahead and the soldiers from behind. They can't escape this time. Good job, soldiers. We will see, Moses, how your lord will help you in this situation. It's weird, my lord. Moses stroked the sea by his stick, so the water level rose and the ground appeared. Then he ordered his followers to pass on feet while surrounded by water from everywhere, my lord. What are you saying? Then let's go after them. Let's go. ثم أغرقنا الآخرين